agree with um, well in town assistant manager Mike Jones after a, a 2-1 victory against uh, Kent Football United um, Mike I was thinking about how to start this interview and I'll just say it was the fact that we were in a bit of trouble for the first hour down to how bright they were and keen to get onto the second balls and or, or were we a little bit poor or, or, or how would you how would you see that we struggled to to assert ourselves in that match until the second half? Yeah, a bit of both. I mean, I think I need to I need to sit down and I need to rewatch the, the game. Um, for me, I think for us as a side, I think we look like we haven't played for ten days. I think we look like we've come off the back of a draw and and a defeat, a couple of of not the greatest performances. I thought we looked a bit nervy. I thought we looked a bit sluggish. Um, a bit standoffish. I don't think we took the game to them at all. And then on the flip side, they were they were bright and they were energetic and they were finding space and they were popping it forward early. Um, and, <clears throat> and I think we said in the in the changing room at half time, you know, every side is going to want to come and take a scalp. We're not they're not just going to let us play football. So we've got to earn the right to be able to pop the ball about. And we've got to go and win challenges and we've got to go and engage against the opposition and we've got to go and mark our men and we've got to go and want to find space and to want to get forward and support and to want to go and score and to want to do to, you know to to not concede goals and i just think in that first half i, I often defend the boys but I just don't think we were hungry enough or confident enough in that first half um, and confidence does a funny thing you know we're unbeaten and we're top of the league but if we haven't played as well as we have done in the last couple of weeks and we've not played for 10 days suddenly it starts creeping in and then it's a bit nervy and Jack who's been outstanding all season makes a rare mistake and then you miss a couple of chances and you can almost see it creeping into the boys but <clears throat> I think in every chat I've ever had with the boys I will always try and take the pressure off them and we'll always you know, we'll never moan at mistakes we'll never moan at someone trying to get on the ball someone trying to break the line, someone trying to pick a pass. As long as it's the right thing in the right areas, we would never moan at that. And I just don't think in, in that sense, in terms of bravery, that we, we did that enough in that first half. So a little bit of them and a little bit of us, unfortunately. But. The goal, talk, talk us through the goal, their goal in the, in the first half. Uh, Jack's just, he, he thought it was going wide. It's a fantastic strike. Um, I could, thought could, he get, could, he, could he get to it? I, I, I think he could have got to it. Um, he, he thought he could have got to it. He just, simple mistake, he just thought it was going wide. Um, but you know, he's, as we said, he's been outstanding all season, it's, and he was outstanding tonight at times. He, he made another save in, at the end of that first half, and I turned my back before he'd gone in. Um, and I don't know how he got it, and, and he's, he's he's half beating himself up in the change room because he's he's annoyed with his distribution. He's annoyed with a couple of the things he did. But I just said to him as we came out, I said, "If that's your bad game, I'll take that. I'll take that all day long." <laughs> his bad games are, are, are notch above quite a few others, so it's one of those things. But. Um, second half, I, but I felt, I think towards the end of the first half, Mike, I did think we did start getting a foothold into the game and causing them problems. So, did that make your halftime team talk a little bit easier? Yeah, I, I said we, we've got to be confident. I said, Look, don't we? I said everything I've just said to you. You know, we've not played for ten days. We we adjusted the system slightly. We're trying to do something different. I, I'm I'm always cautious of. You know, not not looking for other reasons as to why things aren't working. I think we should look at ourselves and we should look at have we worked hard enough? Have we done what we've asked us to do? Have we given ourselves every opportunity to make the system work and, and to, to win the game? And and we'll look at that first. And I want that I want the players to do that. I want the players to come off thinking, Have I done everything that's been asked of me and have I worked hard enough? And and I'll drill that into the players to to the point of no return and you know, and if, if, if they're not going to do it, we'll, we'll get people on that will do. We've got a big squad. Um, it, it wasn't a bad performance today um, in, in terms of their hunger. It, I think it was, it was confidence and, and a, a sort of willingness to sort of step forward and try and take the game. But it was a bad performance in terms of did we, you know, were, you know like we said, were we brave enough? Did we want to kill that game? I think we've had 14 chances, I counted that first half, but I don't think the keepers made a save. I think we've looked at, you know, as the system worked, are they, you know, as the ref given us decisions, or we're a bit sluggish because of this, we're a bit sluggish because of that. You know, there's a million reasons apart from just we haven't worked hard enough. Um, we had Kenny's footwear tonight, and I'm sure their manager in his report afterwards is going to cite that they've had probably 10 golden chances to score throughout the, throughout the, um, <coughs> the match, which they've not taken, and he's probably going to say he's had, he can't believe how, how they've not won, but I would say both teams have probably had 15, 20 chances to score yeah. tonight. So was it was it just one of those games where 
we've had a little bit of desire in the second half and a little bit of belief and a, and a little bit of that confidence has come back to enable us to, to feel that, you know, they're not taking their chances. We can we can get a win in. Yeah, I, I, the last thing I've said before coming to Chamberlain after the game is, you know, like I just said to you, every side is going to want to come here and step up and be the side that takes points off us or be the side the first side to beat us. And we've got to learn to adjust to that. And we're not always going to be playing superb, pretty football on the ground. Sometimes we've got to dig in and we've got to grind out results. And we'll get through that period, especially over this couple of months over Christmas where it's, you know, it's Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. But we've taken <clears throat> 35 points from 39, I think. 35 points from 39. I've taken that at the start of the season. I just need to drive that home to the players that if we lose or if we don't play well, it needs to be down to the opposition, not down to us. Um, and I think that's the, uh, it's not the issue, but that, that's the thing that I'm focusing on at the moment. How, how do you think Ali and, and Ryan are, are now getting on as a pair? Uh, the second half, I thought, first half, <coughs> Joel, Joel said to them as they came out at, at half time, we, we've, we've, we've spoken to them, we want them to be pairing up, we want them to, to learn how to play together. They're, they're two of the best strikers easily at this level, they can play well above. Um, they're both very, very eager to, to work hard, to, to get goals, I think they can complement each other. Um, first half, we just felt they were, they were making similar runs or, or not not going to back each other up and, 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 and not moving together and, and, and Joel spotted it and had a, and a word with them at half time and, and we just said they've got to be pairing up and even if they're not getting the service that they might want they've got to be pairing and hunting impacts and they've got to be helping each other out at the very least and I think in that second half both goals come from, from both of them as a partnership and I think there was a good chance at the end um, Ali, Dom and Golding linking up and Ali was very unlucky, it was a good effort so I think in the second half um, it's just sometimes you just need that little glimmer of hope as a player that it, it can work together. But you know, Golding's been out for, for three games, suspended. He's just coming back, just getting match fitness. He's been up top on his own most of the season. Ali hasn't played, <coughs> but barely played all season. He's had no minutes for, for Canterbury, and they, I think that's only their second game, maybe their third game together. So it, things don't click overnight. But I'm more than confident that that will work. They've both got the right attitudes. They've both got all the ability in the world. Um, and that will work. They will, they will cause teams problems. That's, uh, that's why I asked the question because I did feel that the goal came about because they did start to to hunt in pairs and 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 work as a team, and and it, and it looked to be it, it's coming together. But do you think you'll stay that kind of shape? Or I, look, I, I think we we've said to the players we're not tied to a particular formation or a particular shape, and in fact. A lot of the things we've tried this season have been just slight adjustments of an existing tactics. You know, four five one, four three three, four three one two, four four two diamond. They're not that different. It just takes a little bit of, of discipline and a little bit of understanding and a little bit of fluidness from the players. But uh, I don't want them to get hung up on on shape. We might play with one striker. We'll do whatever we've got to do to, to win each game. But. I want the, the players to, you know, whatever shape you play, whatever team you play, the desire, the work rate, the effort, the understanding and the, the teamwork, it's got to be there regardless. And then if you give all that, then you can look at the system, then you can look at the opposition and stuff like that. But we've got to make sure that we've got all of those basics in place every single week before we start looking at everything else. We've got a big game on Saturday against Holmesdale, away from home. Uh, it's going to be another massive test. Um, as always, we go there looking to, to get the three points, Mike. Yeah, I think we are. We'll, I know it's a bit of a cliche, we'll always go to win. We're always looking to win. I think we'll be disappointed at the moment if we're picking up draws. But at the moment, in this period of time, at this time of the season, with where we are, we just need to keep grinding our results, picking up points. If you take a point off Holmesdale, it's you know, still keeping them behind us. Um, <clears throat> it's another win tonight, regardless of the performance, regardless of what we think. Um, and at the end of the season, if you've got the, uh, the most points and we sit top of the table, I'll be happy with that and we won't be looking back at the performances. But you know, as a coach and as players, you, you always want the best and we always want those superb performances. But they will come. You, know, you can't play, as I say, you can't play well every week. But if we, if we can grind out results when we're not necessarily kicking, then I always think it's a sign of a good side. I had Dimo having a bit of a go at the player's second half, needing to keep the ball a little bit better. Is that something that we'll be trying to get through to the players? Leading up to the game on Saturday, yeah, we've particularly last week we were just focusing on you know two things in terms of can we have some intensity when we haven't got the ball. I think we've been a bit 
bit standoffish and a bit sluggish over the last few weeks. We need to go be going and forcing mistakes. I don't think we've done that enough. And then on the ball, can we can we trust each other? You know, can we be braver? And I think you know, at times tonight we've taken it to the nth degree where the goalkeeper's dribbling out from the box. But you know, can we just be braver? We are good enough players as you sit in that changing room and you look around. You should trust everybody that's in there, and, and you're a good enough team to to play the way we want to play. And you know, as I said. <clears throat> One bad game, two bad games, three bad games. It was not a bad team make. You know, <clears throat> but I've seen more than enough from the training sessions and the start of the season. And they're top of the league for a reason. They deserve all that credit. And they, need, they need to understand that in times like this when you're just having a bit of a patchy run and the form's not necessarily there, you just dig in even harder and work even harder and you'll come out the other side of things. So. Well, Mike, well done on, on, on the win. Uh, come, come from behind victory. Um, still top of the table and we'll see you Saturday. Yeah, cheers, Tom. Thank you very much. And, and